Hi, my name is Sophie Davis and today I will be presenting The Mori House in Mount Martha on Bunwurrung Country by MA Architects and Aries Mateus. So I thought I'd start by presenting the brief by the client, um, which is quite simple but I think eloquently speaks about what we produced. So this is a place to cook and eat, a place to live, a place to sleep, a place to play, a place to work, a place to wash, a place to relax, a place to share, a place to swim and bounce. This is the project team, the MA Architects project team. That's me on the left there. And on the right is Rachel McNally, who was the project architect. And unfortunately, she cannot be here today, but I'm feeling very privileged to be able to present as a graduate. Um, and we are both members of the Imagine demographic. So to start with the concept, uh, this is a division of four areas marked by voids or by light. And the cross in the center is expressed as a lantern organizing all spaces like the foundation of a new place. These are the initial concept sketches um, by Manuel Aries Mateus. Um, and the house uses classic ordering principles and formulas reminiscent of many of Aries Mateus' works. Uh, it also reflects how the client wanted to challenge traditional ideas of domesticity. Um, so we needed to also create a place that was cosy for two, um, but comfortable for 10 um, and create spaces that showed togetherness and um, separation. So these initial sketches then turned into plans. Um, and MA Architects role in this project was documentation, detailing and delivery. So we were tasked with taking these initial sketches and plans and forming them into a reality without compromise. Um, so essentially making someone's dream practical. Um, these initial concepts had no dimensions or true scale at this stage. Um, and that was what we were tasked with doing, detailing the project into um, the final result. So as you can see here, we were working in BIM models um, and we were constantly workshopping with Aries Mateus, who were in Portugal, um, and they were creating these models and then we were creating the BIM models and we were collaborating and figuring out scale and detailing um, overseas. So um, because of that, we also needed to learn to capture the essence of the project through detailing. So every sweeping statement required a gesture and a moment, and that's where we found that MA Architects could have the most powerful role. Um, so we needed to show these international concepts and deliver them to Australian standards and regulations. So for example, here you can see this beautiful pool um, sketch, which was essentially trying to be a, a beach that um, washed to shore. And that was um, the initial concept and Aries Mateus didn't want to have um, a pool fence or balustrades around the roof um, as an example but we needed to obviously come to a compromise to um, create this project to Australian standards. Another example here is that um, Aries Mateus wanted to create a slow movement up to the roof deck so they wanted quite large rises but as we need to work to the 190 rise of regulations, um, we needed to come to a compromise there. Um, and we also needed to collaborate online constantly. Um, so after their initial visit to Australia, Aries Mateus was then in Portugal when COVID struck and um, we needed to work with them and the client um, and workshop online throughout the entirety of the project. So it actually ended up being quite successful because Aries Mateus would show us what they um, were after in terms of uh, detailing, like here with the windows, and then we would work um, while they were sleeping and we would come to a nice agreement and figure out the details in that sense and then send it back to them and then while we were sleeping they would be working on it. So we were just working 24 hours around the clock. Um, and because of that, it was really a practice in mentorship, both up and down. Um, Aries Mateus trusted us to execute their ideas, to provide alternatives, um, and they really respected our expertise. And at the same time, Rachel, um, who was also 
relatively newly registered. Um, she really gave me the ability as a graduate to have ownership over certain areas of the project, which was really exciting for me. So this is the plan. As you can see in the center, there is the red cross, um, which then divided the spaces into four. Um, and like I said, these spaces um, created some separation and then also togetherness. In the perspective here, you can see the um, roof deck spanning one of the divisions um, and a constant outlook into nature. So to slow it down, this is a place to cook and eat a place to live, a place to play, a place to sleep, a place to wash, a place to work, a place to share. And I wanted to finish on this photograph because um, I think that it represents the project to me, at least in the best way. Um, I think that it shows a playfulness and not being too precious with a space and really making it your own, which I feel um, both the client and Aries Mateus and MA Architects all have the trust in each other to um, work collaboratively and come to a really wonderful outcome. <laughs>